I think it's very clear. You've heard uh, some of the experts here. These are the people that live on the land. These are the people who have been on the land for at least 30,000 years. They know uh, how the land works. They understand uh, their anticipated I'm not going to try to use that word. They know the, the complicated way that uh, nature operates and um, the difficulty that our people find today is that as the talks go, go on, they're not at the table. And we have to question why we're not at the table. The world the way it's been designed according to man doesn't allow the indigenous peoples to fully participate. There are at least 400 million indigenous peoples on the planet. And they are not included in those talks. And those are the people that are on the land that they are talking about. So it's not surprising that they're having a difficult time. The UN Declaration recognizes these people as governments, recognizes these people as self-determining, as landowners, no different than others. It passed the declaration two years ago, but that form, the General Assembly that passed that declaration, does not open the door to hear these people speak. Prime Minister Harper will be here tomorrow from Canada. He does not speak for our people. Never has and never will, unless we allow him to. In our, in a, in, in our right minds, we will never let him or give him the authority to speak for us. We are elected people, we speak for ourselves, we always will. I don't know about our relatives in Alaska or what is now called Canada, but I'm, the people that I meet, the people I talk to, they talk the same language. President Obama, bless his beloved soul, is going to be here tomorrow. He cannot speak for them. So what do we do? I think we have to understand the United Nations. How serious is the United Nations? Who controls the United Nations? How do indigenous peoples get to speak? Does one of the countries invite them? Does the UN itself open the door and ask these people to participate? How was it done? I don't know all the rules, but surely in 2009, one month away from 2010, we can be creative enough to do that. We don't know if there's going to be an agreement here, but um, if there isn't, then um, the kind of um, action that is happening here is really only the beginning. Last year I was in Poznan, in Poland, nothing like this at all. People went there believing there would be an agreement, but they saw how Canada was acting, they saw how the U.S. is acting, Australia, New Zealand, and they went away and told themselves they have to get organized. So the people now are organizing. And this is really only a beginning. So I'm not threatening. I'm not saying there's going to be violence. I'm just saying if we are in a crisis, if we are indeed serious about doing something, then let's have everyone speak. Let's really have everyone at the table. And as I said earlier, the experts here, the ones that know the land, um, really have to be heard, and they haven't, they haven't been heard. Must see. Thank you very much.